Back to those election results still too close to call this morning. For the race for Republican U.S. Senate candidate in Pennsylvania, it is still not decided. Results are still up in the air with thousands of ballots still left to count across the Commonwealth. Here's where the numbers stand right now with 95% of precincts reporting. Trump-backed TV doctor Mehmet Oz has a narrow lead over former hedge fund manager Dave McCormick. Kathy Barnett is in third place. Eyewitness News reporter Ross DiMatteo is live in Newtown, Bucks County, where the Oz campaign set up shop last night. Good morning, Ross. Good morning to you, Jim. It certainly wasn't the victory party that Dr. Oz was hoping for here at his campaign headquarters last night, but with a slight lead and only about 5% of the vote left to count, Oz told his supporters that winning will be well worth the wait. We'll have to wait and see if he actually does get the win. But this race went back and forth all day yesterday. And right now, Dr. Oz and Dave McCormick are only separated by about 2,600 votes. That is razor thin. Both candidates spoke with a group of their supporters late last night. They acknowledge that the race is still too close to call, but both express confidence that they will be the ones who are ultimately the winners in the race, thanks in big part to their strong support systems. There's been a huge outpouring of support. We knew it. We felt it on the ground. We knew, we knew it was working. We knew our, re our message to take back this country. We knew our message was resonating with the voters of Pennsylvania, and they showed it today, and we're so incredibly grateful. Thank you all so much. When our city on this hill is shining bright, others see it, and they make their cities bright as well. That's why I'm running for the Senate. That's why I'll be the next senator for Pennsylvania. And that's what I promise we will bring to the United States of America. God bless you all. Now, Pennsylvania state law requires that a recount be triggered automatically if a race is, if the uh, margin of victory is less than half a percentage point. Right now, only 2,600 votes separate these two candidates. So even once these absentee ballots are uh, counted and the mail in ballots are counted, it appears likely that this race is headed towards a recount. We're live in Newtown Township this morning. Ross DeMatte, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, we'll have to see how it all plays out. Ross, thank you for that.